Okay, in this problem we're asked to use linear approximation at point p equals 3, 3 to approximate our function f of x, y equals 5x cubed times y minus the square root of the quantity x times y. And we want to approximate a equals 2.995 comma 3.003. And so we know that if x is close to y, or if x is close to a, sorry, or x is close to the point p equals 3, 3, then f of x then our function is approximately the value f of p plus the total derivative of f at p with respect to x minus p. So we know that the total derivative is the gradient vector of f at the point p, and then we're going to dot product that with the point x minus p. So first we'll calculate f of p for p equal to 3, 3. And so this quantity is 405 minus 3. So f of 3, 3 is equal to 402. And we're going to want the gradient vector, so we're going to calculate the partial derivative of f with respect to x. find that the partial derivative with respect to x is 15x squared times y minus 1 half times y times the quantity xy to the power negative 1 half. And now we're going to find this partial derivative at the point 3, 3. Plug in our values. And we see that this quantity is just one-third times three. So this second term is just negative one-half. And then this is our 405. So 405 minus one-half. we get 404.5. And we're going to take the partial derivative of f with respect to y again. And we get 5x cubed minus one-half x times the quantity xy to the power negative one-half. And we'll evaluate this again in the same way as we did with the partial derivative with respect to x at the point 3, 3. So in the same way as the last um, in the partial derivative with respect to x, we find that 
the 3 times 1 third cancels and we get negative 1 half. And then we're going to add a 135 term to that. So we see that the partial derivative with respect to y at the point 3, 3 is 3, 134.5. So I'm just going to So we can use the definition of the linear approximation, and we know our f of p term is 402. And then it's going to be, at, we're going to add the gradient vector of f, which we have here at the point 3, 3, dotted with x minus p. And we get f of x is approximately 402 plus the dot product of 404.5 comma 134.5 with the vector x minus 3, y minus 3. So we can now use this to approximate f of x at the point a equals 2.995 comma 3.003. So we'll just plug that in for our x and our y terms, and that's approximately f of a. And we get that f of a is approximately 402 plus 404.5 times negative 0 0.005 plus 134.5 times 0 0.003. And when we compute that, we get f of a is approximately 400.0003. So the linear approximation of f at a um, with respect to the point, the linear approximation of f at p equals 3, 3, and approximating a equals 2.995, 3.003, is about 400.381.